Okay, good evening everybody. Uh, selamat malam. Okay, hari ini 31 hari bulan Julai. Kita masuk siri kedua untuk siri webinar Hot Forex uh, berkenaan dengan moving average. Okay, so hari ini saya akan share berkenaan dengan moving average part 2. Okay, terlebih dahulu saya mohon maaf. Isnin lepas saya tak dapat bersama anda dalam webinar kerana ada masalah teknika sedikit. So, hari ini kita akan sambung berkenaan dengan moving average. Okay. So, sebelum kita start seperti biasa, ini yang perlu kita tahu. Disclaimer, bahan ini adalah untuk kegunaan pendidikan dan pemasaran saja, Tidak melibatkan sebarang analisa atau kajian pelaburan. Kandungan dalam nota pembentangan ini tidak boleh dinilai sebagai nasihat atau cadangan pelaburan untuk kegunaan pembelian atau penjualan sesuatu yang semua kewangan. Informasi yang diberikan dari, eh, adalah diambil daripada sumber-sumber yang diperkui. Dan maklumat yang mengenai prestasi yang lalu tidak boleh digunakan sebagai jaminan atau pengukur untuk prestasi yang akan datang. Dengan ini, anda yang hadir dalam webinar ini, uh, hendaklah memperluki bahawa sebarang pelaburan dalam produk Forex dan CFD adalah dikategorikan sebagai risiko tinggi di mana anda bertanggungjawab sepenuhnya. Pihak kami tidak bertanggungjawab untuk sebarang kerugian daripada pelaburan yang diambil berdasarkan informasi dalam pembentangan ini. Okey, ini adalah saya, saya Tunggu Isak. Okey. Uh, trainer merangkap market analis di Hot Forex ok, biasa saya di HF Education Center Malaysia, Office Malaysia so saya mainly in charge untuk bahasa Melayu dan sedikit-sedikit English ok, so lebih 10 tahun berpengalaman dalam bidang research and development and commercialization ok, saya juga involved dalam education iaitu hai pernah menjadi lecturer sekejap ok, and then saya involved dalam consultation work daripada situ saya involved dalam trading Okay, dalam trading sejak daripada 2012. Okay, remember do your research, identify and take your action. Okay, yang paling penting selalu saya tegaskan di sini adalah trust yourself. Trust yourself itu yang paling penting. Kalau anda tidak percaya kepada diri anda, macam mana anda nak trading dengan perfectly. Okay, so kita terus uh, moving average Dan seperti yang kita cover last week. Trend indicator yang calculate uh, average price over defined period. Okay, kalau 20, 20 moving average maksudnya 20 period. Kalau 20 hari, kalau kita guna daily, 20 day punya moving average. Kalau 20 jam, 20 hour punya moving average. Okay, the advantage of uh, moving average sebenarnya they filter out the noise from the price fluctuation. Okay, so benda utama dalam moving average adalah to gauge the direction untuk mengagak direction of the trend ok, cuma kena ingat moving average adalah trend following ataupun lagging indicator so, strategi moving average mainly based on the trend following, maksudnya bila trend tu dah establish, dah confirm baru kita entry ok, trend following That, this is a lagging indicator, dia dah berjalan dahulu baru kita entry based on the confirmation ok Commonly used uh, adalah simple moving average dengan exponential. Ini saya dah cover last week. Okay. Uh, dalam strategi hari ini, saya akan share dengan anda more on the exponential. Okay. Kenapa? Sebab kita nak tengok weight on the recent price. Okay. Contohnya, uh, 10 moving 10 EMA. Okay. Sebab advantage-nya EMA is more reactive and timely. Okay, simple moving average saya banyak menggunakan macam last week saya cakap 50, 100 banyak untuk mencari trend. Tetapi dalam strategi, kita kena moving average yang lebih reaktif. Dalam strategi, saya banyak menggunakan EMA kalau dalam analisis untuk tengok trend, untuk tengok support resistance, simple moving average is good enough. Okay, trend. Remember, trend is your friend. Trend is our friend. Okay, sebabkan dia lagging indicator, dia tak predict new trend but confirm the trend bila dia dah establish. Remember that and the momentum. Okay, we want to look for the trend and then we want to look for the momentum. Remember. Okay, this is the keyword trend and momentum. Okay. Tetapi ada satu masalah. Even in this moving average strategy yang saya akan share nanti, when the market in the sideway, we are usually trapped. But don't worry. Kalau you tahu menggunakan risk and reward yang sesuai, risk reward yang sesuai, penjagaan risiko yang baik, okay. So, ia lebih sempurna. Okay. 
Ini adalah yang saya ajar Dead Cross, Golden Cross Saya dah ajar So, minggu lepas Golden Cross Adalah 50 cross 200 Ke atas Dead Cross 50 cross 200 Ke bawah Itu mainly subject of the bigger trend Okay, bigger trend So we can see And Bollinger Band juga digunakan banyak daripada MA. Sebab apa? Bollinger Band is basic from the 20 moving average. Daripada situ, dia akan kira standard deviation. Kita akan dapat Bollinger Band. Okay, and then kita ada support resistance. Kita juga gunakan moving average as a support and resistance. Okay, so let's we go. Saya Sebab saya tak nak buang masa banyak. Okay, let's we go to the what is the need of the uh, strategy. Okay. So, sebelum tu, uh, sekejap uh, saya akan sharekan dengan anda file. Okay. Uh, sekejap. Ini dah ada. Sekejap saya cuba screenshotkan. Okay. Saya akan share dengan anda dengan gambar apa yang saya sudah draft up untuk anda, ok itu yang anda perlu tahu ok, sekejap uh, dalam mana saya nak hantar ni eh? question poll webcam, sharing alamak, tak ada pula file macam mana saya nak share kat sini ya eh? dashboard audio alamak saya tak boleh tak apa saya sharekan screen sajalah ok so ini adalah moving average momentum strategi yang dah develop sebenarnya bukan develop oleh saya uh, develop oleh Stuart Cowell ok head of uh, market analyst kami ok so daripada situ dia ada share berkenaan dengan moving average ok Selepas itu, saya simplifykan dia and then saya tambah sedikit filter untuk kegunaan dalam intraday trading. Okay. Intraday trading. Itu yang penting. Okay. Okay. So, intraday trading. So, dalam ini kita menggunakan time frame H1. Okay. Time frame H1 untuk kita punya trading. Okay, and then kita menggunakan 5 EMA, 9 EMA, 20 EMA. Okay. Okay, kenapa 5? 5 slow, 9 is the, untuk ini dia guna dia untuk uh, slow and mediumnya, 20 untuk kita confirmation, 20 EMA. Basically sebenarnya dia asal dari uh, Bollinger Band, tapi sebab Bollinger Band 3 line saya tak sukakan dia terlampau banyak lain. So, saya menggunakan 20 EMA saja. Okay. Uh, relative strength index kita set at 14, level 44 and 45. Okay. This three is the important part of the uh, indicator. So, let we we add one by one. Okay. Moving average first is uh, 20. 20 kita gunakan color magenta too strong, dark orange. Okay, this is 20 moving average exponential. Okay, and then 9. Kita menggunakan red. Okay. Ataupun anda mungkin cat ini juga warna merah. Uh, saya cuba tukarkan 9 kepada let we go for the uh, Magenta lah senang. Okay. Magenta. Saya dah tukar kepada magenta. Okay. Zoom. This is 9. This is 20. And then the last one is 5. Okay. Saya ambil warna biru. Okay. Ini adalah tiga moving average yang kita gunakan dalam strategi ini. And then kita kena tambah satu RSI. Relative strength index di sini. Kita adalah 14 default. Tetapi... You need to go to the visual level-level sini. And then, kalau tidak, dia asal macam ni. Ok. 
okay 30 and 70 so you tukar kepada 45 and 55 and then buat tebal sikit kita buat let's say color biru lain sini color merah so kita boleh nampak ok visualization tak apa tukar level 45 55 and this one so you will get this all kind so ada line 2 ok kenapa saya menggunakan level 45 and 55 ok Uh, RSI. RSI standard is 14. Okay. RSI basically is to get the momentum. Okay. Below 45, momentum is strong for the sell. Above 55, momentum is strong for buy. Remember that. Above and below. Dia sebenarnya midpoint dia 50. Selalu orang guna 50 but selalunya kita kena trap sebab 50 is to is uh, to what we call to basic so to avoid okay confusion so we usually using a band that mean we take a 10 point punya average kita buat dekat tengah tu anything above is momentum bullish bawah is momentum bearish okay itu basic dia okay itu basic dia to get the momentum if relative strength index is above 55 that means let's say 55.1 we can say that it is a momentum for bullish bias below bearish bias tetapi yang mana dekat tengah-tengah yang you nampak ini saya lebih mentafsirkan dia sebagai sideway bias okey sebab kalau kita gunakan moving average kita selalu start dekat sideway bias Okay, for signal. So, one of the best way is to filter out the momentum and we will see that. Okay, so, bila dah buat ni, save template. Okay, save template, template name. Saya menggunakan momentum MA. Okay, momentum MA. Ini yang saya gunakan, okay. Okay, this is 20, this is 9, this is 5. Okay, that the basic. Okay, that the basic of the strategy. Time frame, saya menggunakan H1. Lower the time frame, the more false signal akan keluar. So, the best, lowest time frame yang saya kaji, the most suitable is H1. Don't worry, every day you will get the trade. Okay, don't worry. You will get the trade every day. Just the key is to be patient. Okay, the key is to be patient. Okay, remember that. Okay, so this is what we see. Okay, so what we need to know. Okay, the first rule is we need to know the alert. Alert number one is when the 5 EMA crossing the 9 EMA. Maksudnya apa? Okay, let we go towards here. Sedang yang you all nampak lah. Okay, you, you will see. Let we go for the example yang paling simple sekali. Okay. Yang paling simple yang you nampak. I try to zoom in. Yeah. Okay, here. Okay. This part when the 5 EMA crossing the 9 EMA. Okay, when this crossing, you will have the alert number one. Okay, alert number one is this. 5 EMA crossing the, the 9 EMA. Cross above or below. Okay, macam ini. Sini, you boleh nampak di sini. Okay, here is the crossing. Candle complete, you can see the crossing. Okay, alert number one is 5MA crossing the 9MA. So, what is the alert number two? Okay, alert number two is... Alert number two is... This one. The candlestick 
crossing the 20 moving average. For this case, this is the clear scenario yang kita nampak. Candlestick crossing and close above. Candle cross and close. Okay. Cross and close. So, ini rule dia yang nombor 2. Okay. Close. Above. Kalau buy lah ni kan. Above ataupun kalau sell below. Okay. This is alert number 2. Okay. Sebenarnya strategi ni straightforward tau. What is the filter? Filter that we need to know is this one. Okay. Okay. Filter we need to know is RSI above 55 for buy or below 55 for sell. For this case scenario yang kita nampak di sini. Okay, kita boleh nampak di sini it above 55. So, the filter is complete. Okay, first alert 1 done. Alert 2 done. Filter done. And then, number 4, this is what you like about. Is the. Uh, yep. Entry on the next open candle. Ya, itu di sini. Okay, di sini. Okay, di sini. Kalau saya conteng, ya yeah, di sini adalah kita punya entry point. Okay, remember ah, here is our entry point. When it close, the next open price is our entry point. <coughs> then we see market is going boom naik sekejap, dia turun balik and then boom naik. We make profit. But remember, in trading, the rule is simple. Whenever you entry, the first thing you need to know is the stop loss. Okay? Stop loss. This is the first thing you need to put. Once you entry, stop loss is compulsory. Okay? Mana stop loss dia? <coughs> Excuse me. Stop loss dia adalah di bawah sini. Okay? Stop loss adalah di sini. Stop loss is 5 pip below the breakout candle yang tadi tu. Yang bull candle ataupun below 20 moving average. Saya prefer actually more on the 5 pip below. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's say here. Here is the stop loss. Okay. And then. Mana kita punya reward. Always use the rule of the minimum one to one risk reward. Okay, minimum one to one risk reward, or the best is one to two. Like this case, we are entry here. We are stop loss about minimum minimum fifteen pips. Okay, kita boleh dapat di sini. Let's say twenty two pips. So our first target is twenty two. Okay, we achieve it here. Okay, we achieve it here. Sini pun dah dapat sebenarnya. 22 pips. Tapi, the best is 1 to 2. 22 is 44. Sebab apa? Sebab win ratio kita tak perlu besar untuk make profit. Okay, remember win ratio tak perlu besar. Okay. So, ini kita revive balik lah. Okay. Yang tadi itu mana uh, sini. Okay. Stop loss 5 pip below. Alamak. Below breakout candle. Okay. This is the. 
Besi. Basic strategy. Okay. The basic strategy is this. Okay. So, take your time. Ini adalah tu. Sebentar saya bukakan ni. Okay, sekejap. Saya bukakan di sini. Take your time to write out. Okay. To write out if you wish. Okay, first 5920 and then RSI 14, level 44.55. Okay, how to trade? Alert 5 EMA cross 9 EMA. Alert 2 candlestick cross 20 cross and close above ataupun below. Okay, kalau sell below, kalau buy above. Okay. And filter RSI mass above mass okay, 55 and below 45. Entry on the next open candle. Stop loss 5 pip below breakout candle minimum. Reward 1 to 1 risk reward ratio. Best is 1 to 2. Precaution. For those who have experience, they will move stop loss to break even. Kalau 1 to 1 risk reward achieved, that means 22 pips. Tadi achieve, dia move stop loss. And then, it let it run. Let it run until you get the trade. Tapi, saya pun jarang menggunakan precaution ni. Jarang-jarang. Okay. Usually, I will do profit or loss. Usually, I don't have a break even. Okay. Tapi, kalau you nak buat precaution, it's up to you. Okay. It's up to you, technically. Okay. So, uh... Example ni saya akan screenshot. Sekejap saya screenshot. Example. Example. MA. Momentum. So this. This is the basic of MA momentum. This is the basic of MA momentum and actually this strategy is proven and not bad dia punya result. Seriously not bad dia punya result. Okay. So far my testing is out of 10 I win 7 lost 3. Okay tapi itu based on the back test. Forward test we need to validate it as well before we trade. Okay. So, itu adalah basic strategi yang kita gunakan. Okay. Basic strategi yang kita gunakan dalam kita punya trading. Okay. Like this example here. Okay. Here. This is the crossover and the next. Dia berlaku cross and candle close below. Candle close sebelum tak dikira. Dia kena 5 and 9 need to cross first and then candle cross. Baru dikira very signal. So, based on this, okay, if we take here minimum 15 pips, let we, ini berapa pips lah? 15, kita ambil 20 pips stop loss. So, our target is technically 1 to 1 risk reward is here. Technically, we achieve. Early and one to two risk reward sini. Also we already achieve. Okay, so ini yang sini yesterday and we achieve it today. It may take up to one day maximum one and a half day untuk kita achieve our target. But that is the best part of the trading. Okay, this strategy is simple and straightforward. Okay, filter crossing. Kenapa saya terus kata entry? Look here. Below 45. Sell momentum is strong. RSI tell you momentum. Okay. Moving average tell you the trend. Trend is downward below crossing and then candle below the 20. Whenever candle below the 20, that is a downtrend. Okay, 
for the intraday setup. Okay, for the intraday setup, that is the down trend. Okay, dia tak susah sebenarnya. It's straightforward. It's really straightforward for the trader. Okay, so ini adalah Okay, sekejap. Uh, ini adalah salah satu cara. Uh. Okay, macam mana saya nak uploadkan benda ni kepada anda? Okay, kalau you boleh screenshot, you just try to screenshot. Okay, this one I can send you via chat. Okay, cuba copy. Saya dah share di situ. Don't worry, benda ni ada recording. Okay, benda ni ada recording. Nanti you boleh tengok dekat YouTube bila saya upload. Okay, this is example of the USD cat. Let me look on example of the AUD USD. Okay, AUD USD. Early this morning we have a crossover, and then at the same time we have a close above. Okay. At the same time, but this is not a valid signal. Kenapa? Kenapa not a valid signal? Because of RSI is in between. Okay, RSI is in between. Bila RSI is between, it tell you the momentum is not strong enough. Ha, itu trick dia. So, you boleh nampak dia pergi and then dia sudah dah patah balik. So, relax. Okay. So, I try to go for the... I tak nak back test. Let me look. Okay. Today, kita ada signal apa. Ha? One by one pair, kita boleh tengok. Okay. One by one pair, kita boleh tengok. Okay. Okay, like this one. Okay, Euro USD. We have a signal. Few hour ago, crossing first, and then boom, going down, and then it below the forty-five. Okay, this is the valid signal. So, what is our entry? Here is our entry point. Okay, here is our stop loss. Okay, our entry is approximate 11, 16 pip stop loss. Okay, around here, more or less. Where is our target? This is our target number one. Lebih kurang lah. Okay, this is our target number two. Kalau you nak exit target number one, it's up to you. Kalau you nak exit target number two, also it's up to you. Okay, usually bila sampai one, move moving average. Move to break even. Okay. So, itu adalah strategi-strategi yang mudah. Okay, yesterday also we have a entry here. Okay. Ada ke tak? Sini. Okay, crossover and this candlestick. Okay, this candlestick is happen. So, low the minimum 15. Eh? Okay, kalau H1, try to make minimum 15 pips. Okay. Okay, let's say 15. And 1 to 2 risk reward ratio. Here. 1 to 1 risk reward, sudah dapat. Let me look. 1 to 2, kita dapat ke tak? Okay, we hit the target. Or not? Yeah, we hit the target today. Lambat sikit lah. Okay, so it 
work well. Macam ini, we have a momentum here. Okay, cross over momentum. Waktu di sini, apa dia punya? Sini, exactly at the... Exactly at here. Okay, 56. Exactly 56. Kalau tu, you tarik, you tengok di sini. Okay. 56. Okay, exactly on the line. Boom, take the risk and go. This is the example of the trade yang mudah. Mostly, you will have the chances because it is a trend following punya trading. Okay, macam ini. So, we have the first at here. Crossover. Ini tak kira lah. Dia syarat dia ini kena crossover and then this is the entry point. Okay, it's above, rightly cantik punya dekat situ. Entry is about 15 pip sama juga target 30 hit in one hour. Okay, so ini ada tak entry, crossover and here. Tak ada entry. Don't entry. If you want entry the next candle, 55. If you want to break the risk, it's up to you. Usually, sometime I'm risk taker. Next candle, baru dia ada momentum. Okay, momentum still ada lagi. I take the risk. Let's say here is 12, 17 pips. I go for 34 pips. I achieve it. Okay. It's up to individual. Kalau you nak exemption, the next candle. The next candle, ada momentum, then you go. If not, don't take the risk. Okay? So, let me scroll back, 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 scroll back. Okay. So, what is the advantage? Advantage-nya, sini saya nak tunjuk kenapa. Okay? The advantage, this one is momentum. But you can see what happened. Kita akan start dalam sideway. Okay. Like this one. This is your entry point. This is your stop loss. Okay. 26, 31. Let's say up to here. So you can see the price move sideways and at the end of the day, hit your stop loss juga. Tapi, selagi you tak tutup entry, we can stay aside from the sideways. Sometimes this sideways trapping us. Sebab itu saya menggunakan zone RSI untuk filter out. In between, no entry. Tapi selagi entry ni belum stop loss, I also no entry. Okay, so that is the simple strategy that we use. Let me, let me look onto the USDJPY. So today, momentumnya tak begitu kuat, tak cantik. Okay, tapi di sini. Yesterday we have entry, hari ini baru nak jadi. Okay, hari ini baru nak jadi ya. So ini yesterday punya entry. Boom. No entry. But the next candle give momentum. So if you want to make exception, it's up to you. you we can make exception. Selalunya sebab momentum kadang-kadang first tak jalan, second baru dia jalan. Stop loss is about 15 pips. We target 15 pips. First dapat one to one. Tapi selepas itu dia tak sampai. Okay. So this work beautiful. With the trending pair. Okay, like this one. Price crossing and close above. But you can see the RSI down here tak cukup momentum. So, the next one, two candle, if you don't get momentum, don't write the trend. Okay. This is one of the example you get the four signal. Tapi sebenarnya tak ini. 
why we avoid a false signal. Okay, kalau kita tak guna RSI, kita akan entry, kita akan terkena. Ataupun tidak. So, ini, dia bila dia di dalam band of the sideway, don't go for it. After few candle, baru dia ada momentum. So, don't take the risk. Okay. This example, beautiful. Crossover, break above, and then rightly above the here, and momentum pergi. So, we want to write momentum. Mungkin kita terlepas momentum awal. Never mind. Don't worry. Like this one, you can see. No momentum, no entry. Okay, kalau kita entry pun macam ini. Okay, crossover. Belum ada momentum, but the next candle, we have the momentum, then we can take the entry. Tapi, try to see. 15 pips. Stop loss. Okay, tak kena stop loss, tapi hit our TP. We are lucky. This strategy, filter out. Moving average only cannot help. But use the band of 45 and 55 in your region to filter out the momentum. And then this selalu terjadi macam ni cross ini cross above tapi you can see no momentum stay away walaupun dia pergi don't regret don't chase the market relax orang relax selalunya dapat profit see ini momentum then take the momentum actually the risk reward is subjective okey ada soalan tanya boleh tak lebih lagi risk reward is up to you Sebenarnya tu pulang. Ada yang ambil satu tiga. Tapi macam saya, saya prefer entry. Saya ada tiga entry. That's true. It's not layer but scale out. Let's say I entry 0.1. Here. Okay. Because the rule is full. Okay. Here is 15. Let's say 20 pips, 21 pips. Okay, here. Example lah. So, what I'm doing is, bila saya sampai sini, saya akan close half. Bila sampai sini, saya akan close semua. Kalau you nak, maybe you nak go further, maybe you can go further. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 4. Kadang-kadang, risk reward dia boleh jadi menarik. Tapi, I usually stick with my risk reward selalunya selalunya saya akan go to maximum 1 to 2 because I know it will come back not in this pair but other pair as well it's straightforward seriously straightforward tak pening kepala ok sebab ok which pair soalan pair mana yang nak masuk Okay, pair mana yang masuk, try to avoid a sideway pair. Sideway pair maksudnya pair-pair macam Euro GBP, Euro CHF yang pergerakan dia kecil. Okay. Pergerakan volume dia kecil. Selalunya saya akan masuk USD base pair. Okay. Ataupun kalau you nak take this, you can go for the GBP punya base pair. Macam ini. GBP, AUD. Okay. Dia punya trend memang sedap. Tapi kadang-kadang menakutkan. Okey. Kadang-kadang menakutkan. Okey. Right now, we have a signal tadi. Okey. We have signal one hour ago. Okey, ini tak ada. The next candle give you momentum. Tak ada juga. No signal. Saya mudah macam tu. Macam ini. Cross above. Tapi saya akan tengok sini. No momentum. Saya tak masuk. So, selamatlah saya daripada sideway. RSI tell you about momentum. Okay. RSI tell you about momentum. Uh, so, macam ini. So, let me look here. Cross over here. 
we got momentum. Okay, we got momentum. 65 pips. So, nak dapat 65 pips sangatlah susah. Selalu saya gunakan major pair. Kenapa saya gunakan major pair? Salah satu sebab, I don't want to risk. Okay, this one, cross over. Cross over happen and momentum. Okay. Stock loss is about 40 pips. Saya tak dapat 40 pips. Sebab tu saya cuba elakkan GBP pair. This work with the normal pair. Normal pair maksudnya pair-pair yang biasa. Okay. Kalau Euro dengan GBP punya base, try to avoid. Kalau macam AUD CAD, it's still workable. Okay. It's still workable. Okay. Macam ini. Ada crossover. Okay. Crossover. Pukul 9 tadi. Dia bagi you signal. Confirm. Stock loss kita about 20, 21 pips. So, we target 21 pips. Minimum of 44 pips. So, go for it. Okay. So, itu yang bestnya. Kadang-kadang sebab dia turn, dia jalan. Kalau tak ada siapa set TP tu, memang seronok. Kadang-kadang ada setengah orang suka buat apa tau. Buat ini sell signal. So, dia close bila buy signal keluar. Okay. Ada juga buat macam tu. Okay. Ada juga buat macam tu. Tapi, it's individual. Risk reward saya bagi guideline. Okay, like this one. Momentum is strong to go down. Stop loss is about 30, 35 pips. So, we go for 70 pips. Hit our target 70 pips. One half day. Lebih kurang. So, ini momentum up. Crossing and close above. And strong momentum. So, here is about uh, 15, 16 pips. 21 pips. So, we go for 21 minimum and 42. 42, 42, 42, 42, 42, 42. Just nice. 42. Boom. Hit tomorrow. Sometimes you lost. Macam ini dia tak ada. Sebab apa? Moving average memang berada di atas. Dia tak ada turning point. Okay. Untuk sell mungkin ada turning point. Cross and to. Untuk buy MA59 kena bawah tau. Ini atas tak dikira. Okay. Like this one. We have a momentum here. So, we are selling here. So, maybe about 15 pips. You go 15, 30, tak sampai, hanya 22. So, sebab tu bila sini risk management is very important. Break even is okay. Okay. So, break even is okay for me. Tapi, it's up to you. Sebab saya punya buat back testing, saya tak gunakan break even. Saya just go profit or loss. So, I will get the information what I need. Okay. Cuma the best is kita gunakan RSI untuk filter. So, we know what to do. Okay. Like this one, crossover and momentum. Okay. 21 pips. So, maximum ini boleh pergi 70, 80 pips. So, 21, 42. Dekat sini saya dah exit. So, because I need a fixed risk reward ratio for backtesting untuk saya tahu kebarangkalian saya untuk profit berapa. Okay. It's quite fast. Sebenarnya saya ajar-ajar pun 45 minit lah. Tapi it's quite simple. Sebenarnya teknikal ini sangatlah sangatlah mudah. Tapi quite profitable. Intraday. If you not trust me, then you can try back testing. I'm doing simulation on the past data. It's quite good. Okay, risk reward 1 to 2. Saya boleh dapat about 60 to 70 win ratio. So that means it profitable. Sebab saya terus terang saya cakap, bila saya nak ajar, saya kena validatekan strategi ini. 
So saya validate strategi ni saya dapat okey uh, surface apa idea yang ada. So I know what to do. Okey. So itu adalah basic-basic yang you boleh dapat. Okey yang yang you boleh get it. Okey. So itu yang asas. Okey, asas. So trading ni you don't have to be a sophisticated punya strategy. Go for simple. Go for simple then you can see what is going on in the market. Okay. Don't go for the complicated punya strategy. Okay. Macam sini kita dapat ke tak? Okay. We get. Barely get. Okay. 18.23. So adakah kita dapat 23? Tak dapat. Hit our stop loss. Tapi bila dia ada versal pattern. Okay. Macam ini case lah. Case. This case. Sell signal. And then. Buy signal. Sell signal ni tak hit TP. Tak hit stop loss. Tapi keluar buy signal. Valid signal. So what you need to do. What you need to do. Siapa boleh jawab. Ada ramai dalam ni. Kalau sell signal, tak hit TP lagi, tak hit stop loss, tapi keluar buy signal. Valid buy signal pula tu. So, what we need to do? Okay. Tutup sell, buka buy. Good idea. Maintain sell. Okay, maintain sell. And the other day lost juga. Kalaulah saya, okay, ini kalaulah saya, if, bukan nasihat tau, kalaulah saya, personal opinion. Kalau saya, sell saya buka, buy pun saya buka. Sebab I know one thing. Either one will hit stop loss, either one will hit TP, but I know one thing. When if I hit TP 2 to 1, that loss is cover. Okay, that loss is covered. Saya takkan tutup sell, buka buy. No, saya akan maintain buka sell and then at the same time I maintain buka buy. Because apa? We don't know macam ini kita nampak dia naik atas. Betul. Tapi bila kita trading, forward trading, okay, kita tak tahu mungkin dia naik, dia turun balik. Kalau kita tutup sell, dia buy tu valid, dia naik, lepas tu dia terjun balik, we losing sell And then we are losing buy. Loss dua-dua. So kalau kita buka sell. At the same time kita buka buy. We know we will lose either one. Dekat situ lah risk reward ratio will play a role. Okay. Why we play a role? Sebab ini you look here. We are selling here. Okay we are selling here. Stop loss is 23 pips. Okay. Hit our stop loss kemudiannya. Tapi ini, our stop loss is 20, 20 pips, so 40 pips. So, at the end of the day, we hit 40 minus 23, kita dapat 17 net. 17 net. Sebab apa ini kita loss. Loss 23 pips. Betul. Kan? Tapi di sini kita profit. Profit 40 pips. So, 40 minus 23, we still in profit. Don't worry. Kalau dapat two opposite signal, just let it run. Let the market decide. It. We know the strategy and we know one thing. One will hit profit, one will hit stop loss. Jarang-jarang jadi kalau dua-dua hit stop loss. Because why? Because we know. Uh, moving average tell you the trend. Dia beritahu sini tell trend dia nak, nak up trend. And then at the same time momentum. RSI bila dia buat momentum selalunya dia akan pergi. Remember that. 
Okey. Ada apa-apa soalan? Kamal, you can type. Tak perlu angkat tangan. Dekat question tu, you can type. Sebab angkat tangan tu, soalan tak keluar. Okey. So, sound very easy, very simple. Actually, it is very easy and simple. Ramai yang mencari teknikal-teknikal. Ini part of the teknikal yang ada. Ramai yang mencari teknikal yang uh, teknikal yang macam mana cakap lah. Teknikal yang how I want to say that. Teknikal yang difficult. The easy teknikal ada di depan mata, dia tak nampak. Of course, this lagging. Tapi, macam saya cakap, okay, macam saya cakap tadi, the advantage of moving average is it give you a trend. It give you confirmation of the trend. Okay, confirmation of the trend. So, dari situ kita akan dapat kita punya trading. Okay. Ya, ada dia. So, ada apa-apa lagi soalan? Trend. Ini trend. Trend and momentum. Trend and momentum. Dah tahu trend, follow the momentum. Okay? So, but sideways saya pun tak dapat bantu. Most of us start in the side way. Tapi don't worry. Okay. So. Remember. Our trade. Macam saya cerita tadi. First thing first. Bila you nak entry. Remember where is your stop loss. Risk is everywhere. Manage your stop loss. Manage your risk. Okay. Kalau you manage your risk betul-betul. Manage your reward betul-betul. Less risk more profit. Sebab tu saya suka guna. Less is more. Okay. Remember that. So, uh, what's next, next month? Okay. What is interesting next month on the Hot Forex webinar? Okay. What is interesting next month dalam Hot Forex webinar? Next month saya akan ajar. A simple. Itu hari ini yang moving average 2. Soya bean oil. Hari itu saya tepat semi. Saya akan repeat balik. Strategi analysis technical dan fundamental saya bin oil and then technical fundamental gold seperti biasa is the analisa teknikal pasaran and then analisa psikologi anda dalam perdagangan penting ataupun tidak minggu hari raya ada ada kita akan bercuti so kita ada 6 webinar pada bulan depan silalah register okey semuanya simple simple i am not saya tak bagilah benda-benda yang berat kepada anda sebab apa kita cuba go simple and usable Remember, benda mudah berguna. Okay, so itu saja. Okay, uh, kalau tak ada apa-apa, saya minta maaf kalau ada apa terlebih terkurang. Okay, terkasar bahasa apa. So, anda boleh juga download Hot Forex apps. Okay, Hot Forex apps uh, award winning. Kita menang anugerah the best apps. Okay, so banyak information dalam tu. Okay, so remember, jangan lupa join webinar yang seterusnya. Okay, material platform seperti biasa, thank you very much for your interest. Kalau ada apa-apa soalan, anda boleh berhubungan saya di Facebook, Tuku Isha HF. Okay, saya rasa semua dah tahu Facebook saya. Okay, so setakat itu saja untuk malam ni. Selamat malam semua. Okay, selamat berdagang. Okay, sila jaga risiko anda. Dan teruskan belajar untuk improvekan diri kita sebagai trader. Saya mengajar pun at the same time saya improvekan diri saya sebagai trader juga. Okay. Selamat malam semua. Bye-bye.